Ladies and gentlemen, members of the university faculty and our degree candidates today, as provost and vice president for academic affairs here at the University of Texas at Arlington, I hereby call this commencement ceremony to order. I ask you all to please rise for the entrance of our national colors by the UT Arlington Corps of Cadets, which will be followed by the singing of our national anthem by Miss Elizabeth Stelzer. Gentlemen, if you would please remove your cap. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. I would now like to call upon Interim Dean Jim Grover to preside over today's ceremony. Dean Grover. Good afternoon. I'm Jim Grover. Dean of the College of Science. On behalf of the assembled departments represented here today, I would like to welcome you to our spring 2015 commencement ceremony. Allow me to begin by introducing the marshals and stage party. Please hold your applause until the entire group is introduced. We are honored to have with us today our university president, Vistas Kabari and also the University Provost and Vice President, Dr. Ronald Elsenbaumer, 
serving as mace bearer, the assistant dean for science education, Dr. Greg Hale, bearing the university gonfalon, the associate dean of science for research and graduate studies, Dr. Carl Lovely, Joining us today from the College of Education, Dean Jean Gerlach. Our guest speaker, Dr. Joel Montgomery. The Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Tim Quinnen. Assistant Vice President for Strategic Initiatives, Dr. Ashley Ferguson. Interim Chair of Biology, Dr. Laura Goff. Chemistry Department Chair, Dr. Rasika Dias. Chair of the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences, Dr. Asish Basu. Mathematics Department Chair, Dr. Jian Zhong Su. Physics Department Chair, Dr. Alex Weiss. Interim Chair of Psychology, Dr. Perry Fuchs. Bearing the honors gonfalon and serving as our announcer today, Dr. Tim Henry. Associate Dean of the Honors College. Vice President for Global Outreach and Extended Studies, Ms. Teresa Madden. Our University Athletic Director, Mr. Jim Baker. The Executive Director of UTARI, Dr. Michael McCabe. Vice Provost, Dr. Dale Wasson. Vice President for Development, Mr. Michael Kingen. Vice President of the Office for Information Technology, Mr. Jim Bradley. Serving as Science Gonfalon Bearer, Dr. Teresa Jorgensen, Associate Professor in Mathematics. The Associate Dean of Science for Academic Affairs and Professor of Mathematics, Dr. Minerva Cordero. Our hooding faculty today include Dr. Andrew Hunt from the Department of Earth and Environmental Science. From the Department of Mathematics, Dr. Ruth Gornett. From the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry, Dr. Brad Pierce. And Dr. Peter Kroll. From the Department of Biology, Dr. Todd Casto. And Dr. Esther Batran. From the Department of Psychology, Dr. William Ickes. Dr. Angela Dougal. Dr. Yuan Bo Peng. And Dr. Daniel Levine. From the Department of Physics, Dr. Jay Yu, Dr. Ramon Lopez, Dr. Mohamed Huda, and Dr. Samarandra Mohanty. And last but not least, our thanks to the UT Arlington Jazz Orchestra, conducted by Mr. Tim Ishii. I would like to take a moment to recognize an important group of people who have helped each graduate reach this important milestone, members of the faculty. These dedicated men and women have not only provided you with important classroom instruction, but they have shaped your intellectual formation in labs, in the field, and in the community. They have served as teachers, mentors, and role models, collaborating with you in the pursuit of academic achievement and preparation for what lies ahead, be it further study, entry into the educated workforce, or some other post-commencement adventure. Would all members of the faculty please rise to be recognized? Please be seated. We are pleased to see so many family and friends here today. No matter how far you have traveled to join us, we welcome you. Your presence means a lot to your student and to us, and it is an honor to share the stage with them as we celebrate their accomplishments. It is my pleasure to introduce our speaker for today. Dr. Joel Montgomery is Director of the Division of Global Health Protection and Principal Deputy Director of the Centers for Disease Control in Kenya, where he has served for the past four years. He grew up in this area and graduated from L.D. Bell High School in Hearst. Dr. Montgomery is a three-time graduate of UT Arlington, earning his B.S. in Biology in 1992 
an MS in biology in 1996, and a PhD in quantitative biology in 2000. He has spent the past 14 years studying the ecology and epidemiology of infectious diseases around the world while working to contain outbreaks and reduce the incidence and mortality rates of diseases such as Ebola and Marburg hemorrhagic fever, as well as more common health threats such as yellow fever and malaria. He has been on the front lines in the endless battle against deadly infectious diseases around the world, helping lead efforts to treat the sick, protect those who are healthy, and contain outbreaks which threaten entire populations. He spent much of 2014 helping to lead the ongoing fight against the Ebola epidemic in West Africa. As DGHP Kenya director, Dr. Montgomery leads a staff of over 500 diverse professionals, managing a budget of over $20 million. He has received numerous awards, including the U.S. Naval and U.S. Public Health Service Commendation Medals. He serves as editor for several scientific journals, has published over 100 scientific papers, and presented at numerous local and international scientific conferences. He is also an adjunct faculty member at the University of Washington and Tulane University. In July, he'll be taking on a new assignment as director of the CDC's Disease Detection Branch in the Division of Global Health Protection at the Center for Global Health in Atlanta. We are so fortunate that he was able to take the time to travel from Kenya to be here with us today. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Joel Montgomery back to campus. Thank you for the kind introduction, Dean Grover. <clears throat> and as he said, I arrived I can't even remember when I arrived now. Yesterday, I believe, uh, from Nairobi. So forgive me if I fall asleep. Actually, I'm very excited to be here today. This is really quite an honor. Uh, and what I would like to do today is to share with you three, three rules by which I try to live my life. However, before I begin, I would like to thank President Karbari and Provost Elsenbomber, and of course, uh, Dean Grover, members of the faculty, family and friends, and most importantly, the class of 2015 for giving me the privilege of speaking with you on what is most certainly a special and well-deserved day for you. This is really quite an honor, and I'm humbled by the invitation to be with you today. It's been almost 15 years uh, since I graduated from University of Texas at Arlington with a PhD in quantitative biology. It's actually the, it's the third time uh, that I've graduated from, from University of Texas at Arlington. As Dr. Grober mentioned, I also received my bachelor's and master's degree from UTA. But I won't tell you how long ago that was. I remember many things about that day two, 15 years ago. I remember I was running late, uh, which is unfortunately not unusual for me. In fact, I was late today to lunch uh, with a team. It was hot, uh, much hotter than it is today, Texas summer hot. And I was wearing the graduation regalia. Uh, I won't say any more about that. Uh, I remember my parents, Alta and Leo, were here. My in-laws, my sister Melanie, my good friend Mark Bouchon. We were, they were all in the audience to support me. And funny enough, most of them are, are also here today. And like me, slightly older, more gray hair, but about the same weight as they were then, unlike me. Uh, I'm a bit fatter and certainly much grayer. In fact, unfortunately, I think some of the faculty probably did not recognize me today. Uh, and most importantly, however, I remember my wife, Kim, was sitting right out there with her beaming smile. She's still with me today, although she's back in Nairobi. We have two small children, so she's taking care of the, the kids back in Nairobi. And they should be asleep by now. I think it's 11 p.m. Uh, in Nairobi. Of all things I remember from that day, I absolutely have no recollection of who the commencement speaker was. And obviously, I hope it was no one here, actually. Uh, and I have, I have, obviously, I have no clue what he or she said. So with that acknowledgement, I'll keep my words brief, as it is very unlikely that most of you will remember very little of what I have to say today. I do hope, hope however, that I can inspire, inspire you for the moment and that you will take home at least three simple messages, three rules by which I try to live my life. Here's the first rule. First, look out for yourself. Take control of your own future and always strive for more. 
This is probably the most difficult lesson to learn and to live by. You have to look out for yourself, that is, shape your own future and take control of your own destiny. No one else can do that for you. No one else will do that for you. This is a lesson I learned early in life and continue to live by. I obviously have had much support from my friends and family over the years, and they are still there for me today. However, the direction I have taken and decisions I have made in life, should I go to college? Should I go to medical school? Should I go to graduate school? Should I get married? Should I take the position overseas? The decisions have been my own. I wish I had a nickel for every time I heard someone start a sentence with, if only when I was younger, I wish I would have or would I have not have done this, bought that, married her, of course I made the right decision there. Uh, you fill in the blank, be imaginative. The point is, have no regrets. Live a purposeful life. I often go through this exercise myself and it's not easy. Picture yourself in five years, keep the time period short, it's easier to manage. Where do you want to be and what will it take to get there? And then ask yourself, is what I'm doing right now going to take me down that, the correct path to where I want to be in five years? Again, it is up to you and only you and on which path you choose to take. When I was in your seat 15 years ago, I had two choices. First choice was to take a postdoctoral position at the National Institutes of Health or take a postdoc at the Centers for Disease Control. Ultimately, I chose the CDC option. So why did I choose CDC over NIH? I had a goal. I was a freshly minted PhD scientist, a laboratory trained scientist in parasitology, and while I loved working in the lab, my true desire was to be in the field working with and helping people, seeing science in action. What I now know today and what has become my life's work, my passion, is public health. This drive inside me was inspired by my family, who have a profound faith in God like me, and also care deeply about their fellow man. And my, by my mentors and friends, many of whom are professors here at UTA, Dean Grover, Dr. Bob McMahon, who's unfortunately not here today, Dr. Martha Mann in psychology, Dr. Jonathan Campbell, and some who are not, Dr. George Stewart. Let me all tell you a hypothetical story now, which you may have heard before, a young but earnest Zen student who approached his teacher and asked the master, if I work very hard and diligently, how long will it take me to find Zen? The master thought about it and replied, 10 years. The student then said, but what if I work very, very hard and really apply myself to learn fast? How then, how long then? Replied the master, well, 20 years. But if I really, really work at it, how long then, asked the student. 30 years, replied the master. But I do not understand, said the disappointed student. At each time, that's I say, I will work harder, and you say it will, it will take me longer. Why do you say that, replied the master. When you have one eye on the goal, you only have one eye on the path. You have to set your goals and then stick to that path. After you have decided where you want to be, what you want to be, a doctor, a research scientist, a college professor, a teacher, an infectious disease epidemiologist, focus on the here and now. Stay driven and you can reach that goal. Don't stop there, strive for more. Be the best doctor, the best research scientist, the best college professor, the best teacher or infectious epidemiologist that you can be. Don't ever stop learning, don't ever stop pushing yourself to achieve what you, what you want from life. Right at this moment in your life, you are in a unique position that you may never ever be in again. You have nothing to lose. Everything you have acquired of value is locked inside of you. You have a dream, now is the time to pursue it. The bottom line is, it is up to you and only you as to where you end up in life. Let no one dictate to you the limits of how far you can go in life. Now this brings me to my second rule. Enjoy life and appreciate the things you have. Life is too short to stress over the small things. This is certainly a life rule that I most struggle with. Just ask my wife Kim or my kids. Life is tough, no doubt about it. When I joined CDC 15 years ago as a young postdoc, times were difficult. The salary was meager, hasn't gotten much better I'm afraid to say. Student loans to pay off, Kim had given up a very good position with moderate pay to follow me. It was all very stressful, far from home and far from family and friends, 
long hours in the lab in a new setting with new bosses trying to forge a new career and still not completely satisfied with where my life and new career were going. I had not met that goal that I had in my heart set on five years earlier, to be in the field working with people making a difference. Sure, what I was doing in the lab was important in the grand scheme of things, developing diagnostics for infectious diseases, but this was still too far removed, too tangential to my true desire. What I really wanted to be doing was infectious disease epidemiology, conducting outbreak investigations, understanding disease transmission, and ultimately trying to find solutions to, and develop interventions to reduce morbidity and mortality, to prevent human suffering. So I decided to apply for the Epidemic Intelligence Service, a premier highly competitive training fellowship at CDC. Luck was on my side, but also referring back to rule number one, I was determined. And I was accepted in the fellowship in 2002. Up to this point in life, I had very little experience with life and travel abroad, save a few trips to the Mexican Caribbean with good friends from UTA. I was immediately thrust into outbreak responses all over the world, not the places that are in travel guides, remote jungles in South America, Africa, and Asia, seeing some pretty horrific things, witnessing unbearable pain of mothers and fathers losing their children to disease. My eyes were quickly opened to true poverty true need, people lacking access to basic medical care, vaccines, antibiotics, safe food, and safe water. This truly makes you appreciate what you have, what we have in America. Four years later, I was off in a position in Peru. I had to convince Ken to follow me, once again, not just across the country, but now to a foreign land where English is far from the first language. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I had to convince her that this would be a great idea and a great thing for our less than one-year-old son, Van. So in 2006, we moved to Lima. I got to work focusing on vector-borne and zoonotic diseases in the jungles of the Amazon and respiratory and diarrheal diseases in the shanty towns of Lima. Then five years later, now with an addition to our family, Bella, our daughter, we moved to Nairobi, Kenya, where we are still, still today. I'm doing similar work uh, there as in Peru, working in remote villages in Kenya and Tanzania, and also one of the largest slums in Nairobi in East Africa, Kibera. More recently, as Dr. Grover mentioned, uh, I've been working in Liberia in response to the Ebola outbreak. The one lo common link between all of these places that I have worked, besides people living in underserved, impoverished settings, is the resilience of the human spirit and the joy and happiness that people experience even in the most dire of settings. This is a reminder to me, a smack in the forehead, in fact, almost on a daily basis. Be thankful for what you have. Love your family and your friends, tell them constantly. We truly won the lottery either having been born in America or having been fortunate enough to move here to have access to medical care, safe drinking water, freedoms rivaled by nowhere else in the world, and education, a quality education. While you can and should strive to reach your potential, you must keep your problems and worries in perspective. Remember, don't stress over the small things. Enjoy and embrace life before it passes you by. And finally, the third rule, and this is the simple one, invest your time in others. So what do I mean by this? Simply put, take the time to listen. Don't always do the talking. Be compassionate and have faith in your fellow man. As a supervisor and mentor, I have always practiced an open-door policy with my staff and students. Sometimes I regret that decision, uh, as I often have very little time of my own. However, I find that at the end of the day, personal relationships are far more important, rewarding, and satisfying than simple material possessions. So now in closing, I would like to leave you with two inspirational quotes, one from a famous doctor and one from a contemporary American author. I think you'll recognize that this famous doctor from his quote without me telling you his name. You have brains in your head, you have feet on your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what to do. You're the guy or the gal who'll decide where to go. So just in case you didn't recognize the quote and the person quoted, that was Dr. Seuss. This is a quote from uh, Marianne Williamson. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us. Frightens us. 
we ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. This is nothing enlightened about shrinking. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to manifest the glory of God and that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in every one of you. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give people, other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Enjoy life. It's too short to not appreciate the things you have. Remember to look out for yourself and take control of your own future, your own destiny. Most of all, however, always remember to invest your time, your compassion, your understanding in others, your fellow man. Your personal relationships will make you far richer than any material possessions. So with that, I wish you well. UT Arlington College of Science graduates of 2015, congratulations, job well done. Dr. Montgomery, we're very proud that you're a member of the Maverick Nation. Thank you for your time and your inspiring remarks. And now we begin the awarding of degrees. Please notice that many candidates have earned cords, stoles, and medallions to recognize their accomplishments and achievements. Please note that our graduates wearing a double gold cord are graduating cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude. At this time, it is our pleasure to recognize all of the candidates for doctoral degrees. Candidates, Please rise and come forward. I am pleased to recognize that these individuals, by satisfactorily completing their current semester of academic work, will meet all of the requirements for their degrees as specified by the Graduate Studies Committees and the Graduate Assembly. From the Department of Biology, Claudia Marquez, Supervising Professor, Dr. Esther Betran. Anne Mayo, Supervising Professor, Dr. Esther Betran. Jacobo Reyes Valesco, Supervising Professor, Dr. Todd Casto. <laughs> Munuve Mawanya, Supervising Professor, Dr. Peter Kroll. Vishnu Subedi, Supervising Professor, Dr. Brad Pierce. From the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences, Supatara Kunse, Supervising Professor, Dr. Andrew Hunt. Scott Lacey, Supervising Professor, Dr. Minerva Cudero. From the Department of Mathematics, Thomas Ferguson, 
supervising professor, Dr. Dimitar Chantkarov, hooded by Dr. Ruth Kornat. Ali Ray, Supervising Professor, Dr. Ruth Karnut. From the Department of Physics, Kamal Dekal, Supervising Professor, Dr. Samarendra Mohanty. Sarah Christine Hernandez, Supervising Professor, Dr. Muhammad Huda. <laughs> Alfonso Hinojosa, Supervising Professor, Dr. Ramon Lopez. He Yoon Kim, Supervising Professor, Dr. J. Yu. From the Department of Psychology, Jared Willis, Supervising Professor, Dr. William Ickes. Meredith Hartzell, Supervising Professor, Dr. Robert Gatchell, hooded by Dr. Angela Dugall. Colin Jenny, Supervising Professor, Dr. Angela Dugall. Gabriella Orsak. Supervising Professor, Dr. Angela Dugall. <laughs> Whitney Warzer, Supervising Professor, Dr. Robert Gatchell, hooded by Dr. Angela Dugall. <laughs> Amber Harris Bozer, Supervising Professor, Dr. Juan Bo Ping. <laughs> Mayanja Kabjunma, Supervising Professor, Dr. Jan Bo Ping. <laughs> Celeste Sanders, Supervising Professor, Dr. Robert Gatchell, hooded by Dr. Jan Bo Ping. Tyler Hamby, Supervising Professor, Dr. Daniel Levine. At this time, it is our pleasure to recognize all of the candidates for master's degrees. Will the master's degree candidates please rise and come forward? I am pleased to recognize that these individuals, by satisfactorily completing their current semester of academic work, will meet all the requirements for their degrees as specified by the Graduate Studies Committees and the Graduate Assembly.
We will now recognize the master candidates from the Department of Biology, Marion Taylor. Bibiana Wong. Cynthia Ann Griffith. Matthew West. Joseph Anyan Wu. Daniel Samuel Ba. From the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences, Rebecca Ball. Monica Barberry. Jennifer Beyer. Samantha Carter. Okuosa Sokwuma. Brenda Cober. Julie Denton. Ciel Elzidalde. Jerry Ford. Fernando Leon. Hung Luong. Angela Markson. Donna Marshall Knowles. From the Department of Mathematics, Hussan Al Dujali. Whitney Wilbur. From the Department of Physics, Crystal Red Eagle. From the Department of Psychology, Vanessa Apiu. Nicole Corwin. Megan Dudley. Allison Urbel. Sarah Hills. Alicia Mular. From the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences, Eunice Salinas. Sylvia Zavala. From the Department of Psychology, Dina Odin. Audrey Snowden. Jacqueline West. Will the candidates for all bachelor's degrees please rise? These candidates, by satisfactorily completing their current semester of academic work, will meet all the requirements for their degrees as specified by the department faculty and the undergraduate assembly. I am pleased to recognize that they are completing the degree for which they have been certified. Congratulations to you all. Please be seated. Dr. Laura Goff will now present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the biology department. Will the candidates for Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees in biology please stand and come forward to be recognized. Iftu Abdurrahman. 
Rachel Acevedo. <laughs> Susana Acosta. <laughs> Michael Babalola Adewale. <laughs> Ardpan Adhikari. <laughs> Jennifer Amin. Yasmin Ayoka Ayuran. <laughs> Hassan Ansur. <laughs> Sabrine Arafat. <laughs> Mireya Arroyo. <laughs> Mushtuba Ali Buksh. Kevin Bryant Bedford. Chris Bigman. Sophia Belagbira. Kirby Buchanan. Hannah Camille Milado Bustillos. Timothy Capo. Tanya Kaneth Carmona. Carissa Carranza. Ashley Carter. Danya Castaneda. Evelyn Ives Chicas. Tanya Wush Farid Chowdhury. Michelle Chua. Jeremy Cortez. Charlie Don. Now, Preet K. Dillon. Now, Preet Quar Dillon. Stephanie Diaz. Caitlin Din. Amber Dixon. Timothy Dixon. Samia Marie Dorr. Merle Dominguez. Lena Dorak. Simon Duong. Shadia Isa. Phoebe Ellis. James Finley. The Irish Corinthian Ford. Emmanuel Forjol. Kinga Forsyth. Raven Simone Yester. George Andres Galez. Angelica Galicia. Anna Patricia Gallo. Priscilla Nicole Garcia. Laximi Gale. David William Graham. Christopher Joseph Workler. Lee Ha. Ariel Earl Hampton. Akesh Hazari. Jeremiah Filmon. Ariel Lien Herrera. Billy Shane Jenkins. Rin John. Leah Renee Jinks. Vincent John. 
Mackenzie Johns. Rashni Karadi. Thomas Michael Kirby. Curtis Dean Cornege. Jennifer Locke. Kieran Lakani. Atmar Lizama. Betsy Mikado. Tuan Mai. Sapana Mahat. Taylor McFarland. Muhammad Minhal. Jennifer Yvette Moreda. Michelle Lee Morris. Myra Elizabeth Murillo. Jackie Brenda Macamira. Kasim Nakvi. Severine Mandi Nindupath. Cindy Nguyen. Diana Nguyen Chung. Jennifer Nguyen. Jeremy Nguyen. Jimmy Nguyen. Karen Nguyen. Mary T. Nguyen. Mylin Nguyen. Nathan Nguyen. Nicole Nguyen. Tui Kim Nguyen. Tran Bao Nguyen. Van Nguyen. Mercy Nayam Wiya. Valerie O'Dan. Precious Owen Yechi Ogbona. Kendrick Okafor. Kelly Chakuguma Okpagu. Peter Omoni. Sean Pandia. Pabita Panti. Heti Ben Gatunbai. Raul Patil. <laughs> Hannah Pazel. Paula Franco Perada. Denny Phillip. Sanad Pokarel. Matthew Kyle Prunier. Beryl Quay. Sonu Rajit. Shannon Liz Michelle Quiolo Rimado. Anthony Roca. Boris Balida Mirovich. Jeanette Marlene. Tiran Rose. 
Amsal Roy. Justin Tutiran Kwai. Brittany Lynn Salinas. Portia Luet Sanders. Umera Sheikh. Aisha Sheikh. Nat Wong Chimi Sherpa. Karishma Shroff. Irina Simral. Olivia Strittmatter. Joel Subius Villavuerte. Hassan Sundani. Diem No Tran. Johnson Tran. Lily Tran. Tin Tran. Fandu Iwin Trang. Lan Trin. Karen Truong. Rocio Livet Vasquez. Daniel Minda Vu. Zhu Zhuan Vu. Lena Kim Vu. Jennifer Watkins. Minna Cosette Wilson. Natalie Winter. Sarah Elizabeth Young. Sayed Zaidi. Roxana Zapata. Dr. Rasika Dias will now present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. Thank you, Dean Grover. Will the candidates for Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees in Chemistry please stand and come forward to be recognized Lauren Atgar. Bruno Arce. Nathaniel Armstrong. Adam Scott Berlin. Bikash Bandari. Omar Bibi. Allison Elaine Conway. Andrew Dang. Rona Ebi. John Gurak. Drew Joshua Henderson. Elijah Moses Howe. Hillary Nicole Jock. Eric Kell. 
Richard Lowe. Kyle McElvain. Duan Win Fan. Abedu Portillo. David Wands. Nicholas York. Daria Zukova. Dr. Asish Basu will now present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences. Will the candidates for Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees in Earth and Environmental Sciences please stand and come forward be recognized? David Clothier. <laughs> Patricia Garay. <laughs> Samadhi Lee. <laughs> Colt Lear. Arlen Purvis. Dr. Jan Jong Su will now present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the Department of Mathematics. Thank you, Dean Grover. Was a candidate for Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees in mathematics, please stand and come forward to be recognized. Brittany Butner. <laughs> Melanie Carolina Calderon. <laughs> Louis Agatha Gana Camacho. <laughs> Michael Sinobio. <laughs> Edward Duran. <laughs> Kong Wing. Omo Mayowa Olawoye. Kevin Strell. Cody Tipton. Marty Tith Terapatna. Crystal Todd. Daniel Trong. Dr. Alex Weiss will now present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the Department of Physics. <clears throat> Thank you, Dean Grover. Will the candidates for Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor's of, of Science degrees in Physics please stand and come forward to be recognized.
Soha Aslam. Idan Banglas. Joseph Chavez. Spencer Durenberger. Chase Granitita. Monica Hernandez. Timothy James Hoffman. Charles Lay. Charles Richard Knight. Andrea Marlar. Austin Mears. Ying Wu Ivan Ying. Bernard Noir. Ravi Subramaniam. Timothy Watson. Dr. Perry Fuchs will now present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the Department of Psychology. Thank you, Dean Grover. Will the candidates for Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees in Psychology please stand and come forward to be recognized. Kiana Alave. <laughs> Nebel Mohammed Ali. <laughs> Amy Alizan. <laughs> Margaret Anderson. <laughs> Catherine Applin. Jordasha Atchison. Ida Sazin Idar. Tiffany Banet. Elizabeth Bates. Christina Elise Cabrera. Laura Karina Sellis. Jose Cervantes. Kelsey Lynn Cheatham. Rudy Manachui. Jasmine Conyers. Melissa Daniels. Maria Duvallos. Tenude Dana. Angela Fabiola Escoto. Zachary Garner. Mira Hanif. Grant Hardaway. Emily Ann Hartwig. Ivana Ibovic. Rebecca Ann Jennings. Iman Islam Jindani. Mark Jordan. 
Sarika Kanani. Melanie Knott. Danielle Langwa. Kim Lee. Ruth Victoria Lewis. Katerina Moselle Lilly. Luis Eduardo Matias. Samantha Martinez. Min DT Wayne. Crystal Obi Akike. Brandon Oliphant. Micah Parker. Selena Perez. Crystal Perez. Viritsi Perez. Yasinia Puga. Tibia Rahman. Stephanie Ramirez. Lauren Reed. Celeste Santian. Marina Scott. Alexander Rosser Seams. Melody Sizer. Brian Soteros. Brandy Stevens. Jasmine Charday Thompson. Morgan Taylor Thoreau. Matthew Timmons. Kimberly Michelle Tucker. Alyssa Kali Volz. Caitlin Tierney Walker. Samantha White. Ashley Williams. Danica Womack. Hein Youssef Youssef. Dr. Greg Hale will now present the candidates for bachelor's degrees from the UTeach program. Thank you, Dean Grover. Will the UTeach candidates for Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees please stand and come forward to be recognized? Gloria Yvette Aperez. <laughs> Leslie Atkinson. Marianne Brack. Thomas William Carell. Clayton Douglas Davis. Jenna Dietrich. Brenda Garcia. Gabriela Garcia Munoz. 
Valeria Gonzalez. <laughs> Stephanie Gutierrez. <laughs> Nicole Marie Pobdi. <laughs> Jasmine Nicole Johnson. <laughs> Molly Komasar. Zachary Lines, Elizabeth Mallory, Rebecca McSwain, Jonathan Miller, Oladipo Oyediran, Alejandro Perez. Veronica Rios. Jocelyn Rodriguez. Marissa Rosalinas. Ali Shu. Alexandra Skelton. Daisy Tavira. Elizabeth Valdez. Lauren Van Poole. Jamie Villarreal. Congratulations to you all. While this day and this ceremony focuses on the graduates, we want to be sure to recognize the tremendous support these students have received from their loved ones those who provided emotional, intellectual, and even financial support to enable them to reach this point. So graduates, will you please stand and join me in recognizing those not wearing caps and gowns, the parents, grandparents, spouses, siblings, and friends who have sustained you on your journey. Graduates, upon completion of your degrees, UT Arlington is now your alma mater. At this time, would everyone please stand for the singing of the alma mater, the words to which are printed in your program.
Faculty and guests, you may be seated. Graduates, please remain standing. We are gathered here to share in the celebration of a transition in the lives of our students. The crossing of a symbolic threshold from students to learned members and leaders of society. You are about to become alumni of this great institution. This year, almost 10,000 students will earn their degrees from the University of Texas at Arlington. This means that you will now be one of our over 200,000 alumni. And all of you have a tremendous impact on our community and influence over all our futures. You, our graduating seniors and students, represent our very best. And we expect that each of you will change the world for the better. Each of you has touched us in so many ways. We will miss you, yet we are happy that you are moving on to another chapter in your lives. On your shoulders rests the responsibility for furthering the reputation of this great university by what you do and what you achieve from this day forth. And as you get ready to leave these hallowed halls, we ask that you stay connected and engaged with your alma mater. Come and visit us often. There will be no more exams, tests, projects, or anything else. Talk about your university affiliation with pride. Play a role as proud alumni in furthering our continuing drive for higher levels of excellence and celebrate the successes and achievements of this university just as we celebrate yours. We are now at the moment you've been waiting for all these years. The celebration of your success and the achievement of a tremendous milestone. By virtue of the authority vested by law and the Board of Regents of the University of Texas system and delegated to the University of Texas at Arlington, I hereby confer upon each of you the respective academic degrees for which you have been recommended with all rights, privileges, responsibilities and obligations pertaining thereto. Honored guests and members of the faculty, please join me in congratulating our graduates and the newest alumni of the University of Texas at Arlington. Graduates, please remain standing while I invite you to participate in two important commencement traditions. First, for those graduates who received the official UT Arlington Maverick Ring, you may now turn your ring so that UT Arlington faces outward. This symbolizes that you have earned your UT Arlington diploma and are now ready to face the world. From this day forward, all who encounter you will recognize you as a graduate of the University of Texas at Arlington. Congratulations. <laughs> Second, graduates who have earned master's and doctoral degrees, you changed your tassel from right to left when you received your bachelor's degrees, and it will always remain on the left from this day forward. Bachelor's graduates, you may now switch your tassels from the left side to signify <laughs> to signify that you have completed your undergraduate studies. I would like to congratulate all of our graduates again for your accomplishments and wish you continued success as you begin the next chapter of your lives. As our ceremony concludes, the graduates will follow behind the faculty using the center aisle to exit the arena. 
Graduates, please stay in line until you reach the outside exit onto Moritz Plaza. Guests, please remain seated until all graduates have exited the arena. You may exit by the north, northeast, or northwest doors and meet your graduates outside on Moritz Plaza where a tent will provide you a safe location for you to find your graduates and begin your family celebrations. Thank you for your cooperation. And again, congratulations.